Apple Watch Series 8 makes the best smartwatch better. The new Apple Watch Series 8 is here, and we've spent a week and a half checking it out to see if it's worth upgrading to. The Series 8, by all accounts, is a very minor update. There are some noteworthy upgrades here. Apple strapped a temperature sensor and car crash detection to it, and it's powered by watchOS 9. But other than that, this update will feel instantly familiar to anyone who's seen a Series 7. It keeps the same design, color options, and price at $399. This watch isn't for everyone. But if you have an Apple Watch that's older than 3 or 4 years, you'll dig what the Series 8 is going for. Let's dive in and determine whether the Series 8 is for you. Some may be disappointed by how similar the Apple Watch Series 8 looks and feels to the Series 7. But Apple has nearly perfected its formula for a smartwatch, and there is no need to fix something that isn't broken. The Series 8 still comes in 41 and 45 MK sizes, which means all your old bands will work with whichever model they're designed for. They even ship in the same three colors, Midnight, Starlight, and Silver. You also have a few stainless steel options, a ton of bands to pick from, and an optional upgrade to a watch with cellular so you can leave your iPhone at home. The screens are also the same, nearly reaching the edges of each different Series 8 model with rounded sides. You also get the same level of durability as the Series 7, with a crack-resistant screen, i6x dust resistance, and WR50 water resistant. It's not as durable as the new Apple Watch Ultra, but it's still enough for everyday use. It's a well-rounded formula that doesn't have anything inherently wrong with it. The screen is beautiful to look at. It gets up to 1,000 nits bright and is great outdoors. The form factor is slim and doesn't get in the way, and its weight makes it easy to forget about when working out. Would it be nice to see a design that takes on more drastic changes? Sure, but it's not necessary until Apple has a breakthrough in smartwatch design that it can't help but chip. Until that happens, the Series 8's design is perfectly fine. A lot of the new features on the Series 8 are thanks to watchOS 9, the latest version of the Apple Watch's software. This year's update is pretty chock full of new features, and there's a lot to like. The new watch faces are terrific. I especially enjoyed using the Metropolitan face with its simplistic fonts and convenient complications. The new Playtime face is, well, very playful. A new astronomy face can show you cloud coverage around the world. The new Portraits face adds pet support. Background colors are now available on a few faces, and complications can now display richer information without growing in size. The Apple Watch can also help you keep track of your meds, remind you when to take them and log them. There's also a fib history for people with atrial fibrillation, so you can see an estimate of how frequently your heart entered this arrhythmia. My favorite new health feature involves sleep tracking, which can now show you sleep stages. It's a feature popular in other smartwatches, like the Galaxy Watch 5 and with Scan Watch, where you can see a chart of the amount of time you spent in REM, core, or deep sleep, as well as when you were likely awake during the night. I've found this very useful since lately I've been experiencing a lack of deep sleep and have used the data to influence new techniques in winding down at night. You also get a comparison chart with your sleep results from the past week, month, or six months. Speaking of performance, the Apple Watch Series 8 gets the new S8 chip, which you would assume is faster than last year's S7. For the past few years, Apple hasn't been in the business of marketing performance improvements between watches, instead prioritizing the new technologies each chip enables. This year, it's the new temperature sensor, which I'll talk about later. New on the Apple Watch Series 8 is crash detection, which appears to be one of the most advanced crash detecting features available on a smartwatch. The feature works by relying on a new 3-axis gyroscope, a new G-Force accelerometer with the highest dynamic range in any smartwatch, According to Apple, the microphone, barometer, GPS, and an advanced sensor fusion algorithm to figure out whether you've been in a car accident. It looks for things like cabin pressure changes, sudden speed decreases, and sounds that are similar to those associated with a crash to make a determination. What's perhaps the biggest new feature associated with the Apple Watch Series 8 is temperature sensing, thanks to a new sensor located at the bottom of the watch. There were rumors leading up to the Series 8's unveiling that the sensor might be used to track your body's temperature and potentially alert you if it thinks you developed a fever. But as it turns out, the sensor is used for a lot less. 